This is a 1951 Hoffman, and I'm incredibly delighted to be here with this car because I'm pretty convinced this is the absolute worst car in the world. So this was made in Germany after the war out of whatever parts could be scrounged, but it's not just slapped together. This was something that was very carefully made. This is all aluminum and there's a lot of complicated compound curves and very careful hammer work to get these shapes just right. And there's clearly effort been spent to make it look a certain way. There. But the amazing thing about this car is every decision that went into making this car is somehow the absolute wrong, worst possible decision you could make. Getting in is almost impossible. If you're able to dislocate your pelvis from your body, then you might be able to kind of flow in like whatever the hell tentacled being Hoffman would have had to be to do this. The fuel filler, for example, it's this tube that goes from the roof through the inside of the car off center at just the right amount of wrong off center. The wheelbase, it's got a huge track in the front and then the rear wheel is kind of like right halfway behind the driver. The track is actually longer than the wheelbase, which people have known for centuries is a terrible idea. All right, we're going to start up the Hoffman, which is, of course, with the inconveniently placed starter button by your hip. Whisper quiet. Oh my god. Wow, this is terrifying. We're not even going anywhere. The shift pattern is linear with neutrals between every gear. And there's no way to feel when you're actually in gear or not. It's by far the worst shifter I've ever even thought of. No one's thought of that. I think I'm still in gear. No way, I'm not. There we go. Oh wait, there's the first. What happened to first? All right, well, we're in second. But by far, the real thing that makes the Hoffman amazing is that this six horsepower car is more terrifying to drive than a 600 horsepower car. What? Oh, pardon me. Thank you. It's rear wheel steering, but it's not just the rear wheel that steers. In the very center of the car is the pivot for the whole engine. So when you crank the car back and forth, look, I'm not even in the car moving the wheel. It's already in danger of flipping over. Let's try taking it off now. The sound, of course, goes from horrific to deafening. Oh my God, it's already terrifying. When you're sitting in the car and you go to look at the rear view mirror, the A pillar blocks it perfectly. It's like he measured everything out and then positioned this mirror exactly where you couldn't see it. The amount of effort it's taking to steer on a rolling car is insane. Why should that be? Oh, oh God. How did I almost hit a stationary truck at two miles an hour? That's the magic of the Hoffman. Let's go over some bumps so we can feel that suspension. Oh. Uh, oh god, it's punishing. And then you go into these insane spins for no reason. And then getting out of them is insane. If this is what you thought driving was like, you would think, why are we even bothering driving? Because that's how the Hoffman works. It's terrible in every glorious, horrible way. This thing is fucking awful. Guff. I don't know. Is it is it supposed to? Hey, is there oh. a trick, Michael, to the parking brake? What? The parking brake. To undo it? Or no, no, to, to pull engage it. it. Strength. Oh, just yank. Oh. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my God! What the? Oh, I need to breathe, okay. breathe some outside air.